Good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is the day that the Lord has made today. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Joshua, and we, together with Grace United Church, are reading through the scriptures in two years. And the verse that stuck out to me came from Numbers chapter 27, verse 18, which says this. The Lord replied, take Joshua, son of Nun, who has the spirit in him, and lay your hands on him. What I want to talk about is the Holy Spirit in our power. You see, Joshua was taking over a massive job, right? He's taking over leading God's people from Moses. And so God said, I want you to, you know, lay your hands on Joshua, transfer your leadership from you to him in front of all the people. And the reason that Joshua is chosen is he had the Holy Spirit. Take Joshua, son of Nun, who has the Spirit in him. He was chosen to lead because he was Holy Spirit empowered. Now, sure, Joshua had the gifts of the Spirit that came along with it. So Joshua had wisdom, and Joshua had faith, and Joshua had leadership, and Joshua had power and Joshua had guidance, right? He, guidance. He had all those things that are gifts from the Holy Spirit. But the reason, the reason that Joshua was chosen is because, quote, he has the Holy Spirit in him. And the good news is simply this. If you are a follower of Jesus, this is true of you also. You are Holy Spirit empowered. And that's what sets you apart. Because when you come to know Jesus, he sends you the Holy Spirit to come reside within you, to, to guide you, to correct you, to empower you, to, to do all the things that the Holy Spirit does, right? So, and it also just reminds us of his presence. God is always with you. He is always with you through the Holy Spirit. And so the, the, the reason that Joshua was chosen, his power, where his power came from, his power source was the Holy Spirit. And you and I have that same power source available to us at all times. Let's take this awesome, awesome truth and turn it back into prayer. Father, we come to you and we say thank you for your presence. We say thank you for your spirit that guides us and empowers us and gives us gifts. We love you. And it's in the name of your son that all of God's people said, amen. If you'd like to join us along the journey, go to graceunitedlr.com and find the Bible reading plan. See you soon. Bye.